everyone, it's Mooney from Mooney Reads, and as you can see, I have currently changed locations. That is because my boyfriend is home and he's outside, and I'm too shy to let him see me <laughs> while I film videos, so that's why I'm he in here. I guess I will be in here for the next few videos though because he's off work until like the 7th and I haven't posted a video in like 5 days so welcome to my second book haul. Let's get to it. Okay the first book I got is the first book in the Ugly City is series by Scott Westerfeld. If you saw my last book haul, I got the second book thinking it was the first one, so I went out and I got the first one. The second book I got is The Plague by Anne Benson, and of course I have the Spanish title, and it actually is a lot prettier than the English title. This is apparently a really good book and I'm looking forward to reading it. The third book I got is City of the Beast by Isabel Allende. Again, Spanish version, much prettier than the English version. I actually got this as a Christmas present from one of my uncles. He gave it to me late. Next book I got was actually on a huge discount. I couldn't handle myself. It is this monster right here and it's called Aztec and it's by Gary Jennings. Apparently it's historical fiction or historical book. I'm not really sure. But it was just so beautiful. I mean, look at that dust jacket. It is gorgeous. And I could not pass off on this deal. And it, inside it's just black. But the dust jacket is amazing. So. The last book I have here was a gift from my boyfriend. And it's J.R.R. Martin's A Clash of Kings, which is the second book in the Game of Thrones series. I read the first book and to be honest, I did not enjoy that book too much. It was a bit slow for me, but I enjoyed it enough that I will be reading this book. Well, those are the five books I got in this book haul for you guys. Um, I'm sorry if this was really fast. I'm just, I'm trying to get in the groove of making faster videos because I think I talk too much during videos and that can get boring for a lot of people. I'll leave the links down below to the English versions of these books where you can find them on Amazon if you're interested. Either way, most of them, you can find them at your local bookstore just with the English title. I guess I'll see you later in my next video, which will be the Great Gatsby review coming up. Bye!